I have been getting a lot of questions about how to retrieve or change your password on the Pi Network app. I have also received tons of questions on how to retrieve your passphrase on the Pi Network browser. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can retrieve or change your password in the Pi Network mining app, and also reset your passphrase in the Pi Network browser. If you are new to this channel and want more basic knowledge to the crypto space and the Pi Network, then I will recommend that you subscribe to my channel and turn the notification button on. That way, you will be notified once a new video is uploaded. Without further time wasting, sit back, relax and grab a cup of coffee, as I show you how to get this done and secure your mind pie. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will begin with the Pi Network app. It is important to note that the Pi Network has two apps, the Pi Network mining app and the Pi Network browser. Both are equal and important, and they collaborate with each other, meaning that you cannot have one and not have the other. From the home screen of your mobile app, click on the Pi Network app, then select the three stripe lines on the top left corner of the app. This will open the option menu. Scroll down to select the profile option. Once the account profile opens up, you will need to scroll down to password and then click on update. Before I continue, I need to stress that. To do this, you must initially after installation of the Pi Network mining app, verify your phone number that was used to register the app. Now, click on update. The next page says, to update your password you need to go through the phone number verification process by sending us an SMS. After creating the password, you will be logged out from all devices, and you will be required to log back in with a new password. I suggest you be careful. To begin, you will need the phone number associated with your Pi Mining app account, then select the country of residence. After that, you enter the phone number associated with the account, without the country code. When you have done this, the phone number verification will commence, do not change the text in the SMS you will receive. Also, do not change the phone number attached to the SMS. Go ahead and send. Once this is completed, the process to change the password will begin. Feel free to pulse the video when trying to complete the process for adequate and precise steps. In your own interest, do not skip. That takes care of the Pi Network app. Let's us move on to the Pi Network browser, specifically the Pi Wallet. You need to first download the Pi Network browser. That's the only way you can create the Pi Wallet. Locate and open the Pi browser on your mobile phone. To start the process of retrieving your passphrase for your wallet, click on the wallet. This will take you to the login screen of the Pi Wallet. If you have or can remember your passphrase, then you are good. But if you are looking to rake over your wallet passphrase, then scroll down to the bottom and click on reset your passphrase here. Please note that when you select this option, it will generate a new wallet and immediately cancel and delete the old wallet and a new passphrase will also be generated immediately. For those of you who have already migrated their mind Pi to the mainnet and at the same time forgotten the passphrase to log back in, you are advised to be very careful. Let me log in to demonstrate. If you have actually synchronized your wallet address with the mainnet, your wallet should look something like this, obviously with a different figure from mine. At this point before I continue, I would like to sound a firm warning. This warning is strictly for those that have already synchronized their wallet to the mainnet and have also lost, or forgotten their passphrase. You might likely lose your migrated Pi when you reset, or recreate the wallet. There are no indications if the migrated Pi will return with the new created wallet. When configuring for migration, you were asked to synchronize your wallet to the mainnet. The blockchain captured and registered the wallet hash and identity number, which makes it unique to you alone. When you decide to recreate another wallet due to you forgot the passphrase, the blockchain will have to synchronize with the newly created wallet hash and identity number. It is only logical to believe that the old wallet will be deleted alongside the contents. Hence a newly created wallet is credit with a new set of test pi immediately after you have created it. Remember that, this process is not just resetting the passphrase, but also recreating the wallet from scratch in order to generate a fresh passphrase. So, be careful. I hope this video brought value to you, and if it did, consider sharing this video to help others and also leave a thumbs up. If you have any comment or questions, kindly leave them in the comment section and I shall answer them in speedy time. If you have not subscribed, feel free to click the subscription button and hit the notification bell. After all it is free, and it greatly helps my channel, which in turn, helps me bring more value to you. My name is Tony, and this is Basic Knowledge. Until my next video, keep mining.